It's very simple. It's super simple. Nothing draculian about it. Nothing complicated about it. All that we need to do is just look at the rule. See what the rule says. Drago's rules say in simple terms that element of third and higher period does not allow hybridization if they have lone pair along with hydrogen as side atom. So basically, when the central atom is third period and onward, attached with the side atom which is having electronegativity less than or equal to 2.5, then there is something very much drastic happening. So, lone pair is generally present in S orbital. And if the S orbital is not participating, is stereochemically inactive, or if it is not participating in the hybridization, then that means that only the P orbitals are participating in hybridization. If only P orbitals are participating in hybridization, should we say percentage S character is zero? Indeed. Right? You will observe that the percentage S character in the Drago compounds is zero. Ma'am, we are understanding nothing at all. Okay, let me help you out. Let's rewrite this rule one by one. It says elements of third and higher period does not allow hybridization if they have lone pair along with hydrogen as side atom. Let's break it into three parts. First part is that we have central atom. Which central atom should we have? It should be a third period element or, or third period and onward element. Let me help you. You simply have to see phosphorus and onward elements. What does that mean? Let me write nitrogen family here. Let me write oxygen family here. Let me write halogen family also here. In fact, let me narrow it down. We are going to be concerned about only these. And in this also, we are going to be concerned about only these ones because the last one is radioactive. So you will see that we are going to restrict ourselves according to the NEAT syllabus to these elements written out here. So what does it say? Phosphorus and onward elements. And now we know which elements to focus on if it comes in the NEAT examination. All right. Then let's read the second. Does not allow hybridization. When? When there is no hybridization. If they have lone pair. So the second condition is central atom must also have lone pair. This is the second important condition. All right. So what will be the outcome? The outcome is something which is very, very drastic, very, very important. But don't miss the third condition, which is written there that the along with the hydrogen as a side atom. In fact, the side atom can be anything which has electronegativity less than or equal to 2.5. But for your practical purposes, Please observe that for NEAT examination, your consideration of side atom as hydrogen is more than sufficient. So look at the three conditions, central atom, phosphorus and onward, which one I have also mentioned. Second one, central atom must have lone pair. We will see just this point in details. Third one, electronegativity is less than or equal to 2.5. For our practical purposes, we will talk about side atom being hydrogen. So central element, we have narrowed it down for our convenience sake and for the need purpose, for the understanding purpose and for the practical purposes of questions. We can just pick up any one and understand what is actually happening. Let me pick up phosphorus here. So let me talk about pH3. And let me talk about NH3. And you can very well read here what is written is PH3, ASH3, H2S do not have hybridization. So what does this mean? Here what is happening is there is this lone pair you can see 
you can see that phosphorus belongs to third period onwards element of course it's a um, third period element and we are considering the conditions very well which i have written here that the central atom phosphorus and onwards so we are considering phosphorus we can see that phosphorus here has a lone pair also and the side atom has electronegativity less than or equal to 2.5 of course the side atom here is hydrogen so we are considering basically a drago compound and we are comparing it with nh3 which is not a drago compound you can see that nitrogen belongs to second period and you can understand and you have seen in nh3 the bond angle was 107 degree the hybridization of nitrogen it was sp3 right what is in ph3 is bond angle if i talk about should be somewhat comparable to nh3 right should might might be 106 degree okay let's bargain to 105 degree but what we observe is the angle out here was close to 90 degree something drastic i may say so right you can see it's drastically less now this is happening for a certain reason that this lone pair is stereo this lone pair is in an orbital which i may say is s orbital is stereo chemically inactive which i may simply say that is not participating in hybridization can i say so it is not participating simply saying that this lone pair does not participate in hybridization so if this s orbital is let's say not participating who is participating p orbitals are participating and because of the participation of these p orbitals what we see is the bond angle very close to 90 degree all right so you must get this point right that all the drago compounds the outcome the implication is that the bond angle is very close to 90 degree all right so the moment you see that the angle should be something else and is coming out to be 90 degree means that it is drago compound and don't come to me and say that ma'am we have SF6 molecule in which we have 12 90 degree angles. So it's a super duper Drago compound. Please remember the conditions properly. The condition, not a single condition should be missed. Central atom, phosphorus and onward. Side atom, hydrogen for your practical purposes, but any side atom with less than 2.5 electronegativity. And there must be a lone pair on the central atom. Also, the bond angle is the implication that you observe and the percentage S character, if I may say, is 0%, right? So, you can understand that way how the actually bonding has happened. Bonding has happened because of the P orbitals and not because of the S orbital at all, all right? So, if I ask you this question, can you answer me this question now? The bond angle in pH3 is expected close to pH3, we just discussed pH3. Now you know the rule. It's a drago compound. See the lone pair, see the side atoms, see its phosphorus. Of course, theta will be close to 90 degrees. So the right answer is option A.